Hey folks, <laughs> Gator and the, we're at the camp and the, you can see we're at the creek, <laughs> the well. <laughs> uh, I'll take you for a little stroll here. I just got, well, I'm going to go to a, maybe a way you could call it a, a show and tell, but uh, yes folks, talk about water, eh? <laughs> Look at that. Now this here, that's cold. That's ice cold water. It's flowing. Flowing about, I'd say, maybe three quarter inch pipe. The way it's flowing, but it's cold. Ice cold. It comes from the well, eh? It's deep. Like it's, uh, what do you call those? <laughs> I don't know. A well that keeps on giving. <laughs> uh, yeah, but the topic today is not about that uh, artesian well. Yeah, that the topic today is not about that. Uh, it's about how I I give you information that'll save you burning uh, your water pumps. Water pumps, as in uh, well pumps. Uh, okay. I just decided to <laughs> hang on, I'll put my big face in here. I just decided to start this at the well, but we're gonna go inside the camp in the basement. And I'm gonna show you something. And uh, something that uh, those of you that have a well, a water well, and have a pump, something that you should buy. And I guarantee it'll save you money in the long run. <laughs> so you hang in there. I'll be back. Okay, folks. Uh, we're at the the uh, well pump, or no, not the pump. The pump's a submersible. It's in the well. We're at the reservoir tank. Oh, by the way, see these reservoirs. The uh, uh, the the way you set these up. This is just a little bit of jewels of knowledge. Two, uh, two degrees lower for the tank. The, up there, there's a little valve. You put the air in the tank. You put the air pressure at two degrees lower than your cut-in pressure set up on your your. Uh, Really, starter, your pump really. Okay, so your pump, see, uh, but I don't know, right now I got uh, 46 pressure, 46 pounds pressure. So let's say if it was 46, well, you'd have 44 pounds of pressure in your tank, two, two pounds lower than your cut-in pressure, if this was your cutting pressure, but I think it's lower than that. It's maybe 35 or something like that. So 35, it's at 33 pounds of pressure in the tank. Okay, but that's not the topic. <laughs> the topic is this starter really. Uh, there's points in here, but not only that, uh, there's a little, I can't show you real good. There's a little arm on the side here. And uh, what happens is uh, cut in pressure. Hang on, I'll go to the other side and I'll pick it up from there. So, okay, you see these? Just in general, looking at it, you'd almost say that, uh, well, one, it's got a square D on it, and the other one's just got a square. And uh, this is called a pressure control. And this is a, a pump troll. But uh, yeah, it's where it's made by the same guys. Eh? <laughs> but anyways, what I want, this is your normal pressure switch, okay? It's got a, a hole in the bottom. See, this is the old one I used to have on the pump. But then I found out about these. This is my spare. Just in case the other one, through the winter, goes bad and... I come up here, so I bought a spare one. Uh, what they call them is a woo, that's a Spanish. It's a pressure switch with low pressure 
pressure switch with low pressure cut out. Low pressure protection cuts off power to pump when pressure drops below 20 pounds per square inch for use in a jet and submersible well pump system. A signal pump to start at 30 pounds per square inch and it stops at 50. That's the set for this here. And the way you start it, you see this? This has a little arm right there. Little arm. You bring it to start and when the pressure builds up to 30 pounds per square inch, you just release it. It drops back down. The little arm drops back down to automatic and your pump keeps going up to 50 pounds per square inch. And after that, it's it's in the automatic mode. You have a off mode too with this little arm that you can switch it off, which the other one, this one here, doesn't have. Uh, okay, so once you've more or less primed your your tank, well then you don't have to worry about it anymore. But if ever your well goes low, especially a submersible. Well, I don't think you're going to burn it. But the ones with the jet pumps, you're going to burn the washers and maybe even burn the motor if it spins forever, like you're gone and it spins for a day, an hour, a day, a week. <laughs> it's never ending. <laughs> but anyways, you could, uh, with this pressure switch, and it costs $20 more, yeah, we'll go with these. This costs $20 more here in Canada than this one here. But that'll save your, your uh, motor, uh, an impeller kit. Uh, you see, like the, the bush, not the bushing, there's uh, on the impeller, eh, there's a, a fiber, uh, nylon washers, and you burn them, and first thing you know, your pump <laughs> doesn't pump anymore. Or, takes a long time to bring it up to pressure so it's just to say uh, sometimes uh, like I didn't know about this until uh, I went to the farm and that's my son-in-law that uh, introduced me to that hang on I'll switch things around there I'll bring in the focus so uh, I didn't know that this existed and I just wanted to share this with people uh, people that have a uh, well, well pump. It's worthwhile just a few bucks more and the, well a few bucks for us It's uh, almost 20 bucks here in Canada, but in the States. I'm, I'm sure it's less and uh, It's worthwhile the investment so uh, you think about that when you're setting up or if ever you you're at the hardware store or Lowe's or you check like I, I buy them at, at Lowe's eh? And uh, uh, that's it. It's uh, easy to install. That's, you still have to do a little bit of work. But once it's installed, it more or less protects your pump. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Another one <laughs> bites the dust. I hope you enjoyed this. I did. Uh, it's uh, more or less uh, informing, <laughs> informing and jewels of knowledge from Gator. <laughs> I salute you all, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>